Aren't we all mad? <laughs> she thinks she is. That girl has tangled with the wrong man. No one says no to Gaston. <laughs> Done right. Dismissed. Rejected. Publicly humiliated. Why, it's more than I can bear. More beer? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Who, you? Hello? Greetings and salutations, Mr. Ayadanza. Who, who is this? Why, I am Jervis Tetch, the Mad Hatter at your service. I hope you're enjoying the evening of your day, Kalo Kale. I guess it's the right time for me and you to play. Help me, please, if you can hear this, he's going to... <laughs> who is that? Oh, don't mind Alice. She's not behaving properly, so I am teaching her some discipline. I can tell that she is the exact opposite of becoming blue. Does she live or die? That's up to you. Toodles! I don't get it. Why would he do this to Alice? I know him like the back of my... Oh, wait. It's not the Disney Mad Hatter. It's the Batman Mad Hatter. Should have known. I must bring the news to Lumiere and try to figure out where he is hiding. Aha! Bonjour, Monsieur Ayadanza! Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, Lumiere. I just got a phone call from the Mad Hatter, and I need you to track down that call. Oh, you mean the one from the Disney animated version, or the one from the Tim Burton version? Neither. It's the Batman Hatter. You know, the crazy one? Oh, that's Mad Hatter. We. Oui. He gives me the creeps. He gives the creeps to all of us. Can you at least track down that call so I can find him? Why, sure thing, my friend. Okay, it says here that he lives in the north side of Gotham City of the Bowery, and his hideout is in the hat shop. And if you have enough time, there's also an update to Gotham's Most Wanted. There's a person on the loose stealing people's faces. He doesn't go by a particular name, but he is referred to as... The Identity Thief. I think I will have enough time to find that identity thief, and then go after to the Mad Hatter. Besides, if he lays a finger on her, it won't end well for him. I'm just gonna get out of here. Batman style. <laughs>
Hello, what's this? Oh, jeez, a dead body. Maybe it's one of the victims of the identity thief. I should scan the body for evidence. The head was wrapped in certain bandages, prevented the rest of the face to bleed out. Besides, if someone wasn't carrying bandages, then this would just be a slippery meat accident. The attack left the killer bleeding like crazy. Most people like him won't leave tracks like this behind. I'll filter the scanner to find a blood trail that would lead me right to the identity thief or someone that last saw the person alive. crazy-ass woman months ago. No way. I heard they got married. You wouldn't let a piece of ass like Harley get away. You'd have to be crazy. Yeah, and no one ever called those two crazy, did they? in person and dumped his body. Why did you take his face? Or better yet, why did you kill him? It wasn't me, man. I just dumped the body. He told me to use the bleach to clean it up. Who told you? Dominic Idanza. You're lying to me. I'm not. I'm not. His hideout is located not far from the court. You, you don't want to mess with him, man. Ugh. weird place to put your studies. Hmm. Man, does he need this place to be clean. Hey, who gave you permission to be in my hideout? Oh, God! I am guessing you're here to stop me. What do you think, Bozo? You are a killer. A killer like Swinney Todd. A mix between a barber and a vampire, sort of. I will stop you! <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't cut to the chase that soon. No! No way! You look exactly like- Dominic Idanza? It took longer than expected. But hey, at least it's all finished. A lot of people died because of you! Unfortunate, but necessary. Ever heard of deep revenge, my friend? I see you got your hands busy with all this information that's obviously none of my business. Pray we do not meet again. I won't be in such a jolly mood. Lumiere, close the file of the identity thief. Have you caught him? No, but let's close it for now. I'll pull this stuff on Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith? You mean Dr. Colin Smith? Yes, he was the identity thief the entire time. Oh, sucker and boom! Where is he? Are you going after him? He's gone. He left Gotham City. I will hunt him down tomorrow. It's very risky to leave him out alive. But if you want to hunt him down tomorrow, that's your decision, Mr. Idanza. Okay, now that's out of the way. Time to track down the Mad Hatter.
hope I'm not too late. Dang! It's locked! How else am I supposed to get inside the building? Bingo. Okay. Everything's settled. Good. We don't want any accidents, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't what? Uh, no, we don't, sir. That's better. From now on, you have to refer to me as sir. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, Dominic Idunza, you came. How wonderful. It is really an honor to make you. Where is Alice? Alice? Oh, yes. Then you know why we're here. We're just in time for the mattresses. What are you blabbering about? Is that a reference to something? Perhaps. We don't see eye to eye after all. Let me remedy that. Tick tock, watch the clock. That so happens to be behind you. You should keep a better eye on your allies, you big knucklehead hawk. Behind me? Now why on earth would the clock be right behind? Ah! What did you do to me? As you can tell, I'm quite sharp as a spear. You're going to play my loot game. Do I make myself clear? Ah, Mr. Idanza. I was expecting to meet you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now, if I can remember correctly, a little rabbit told me that you were here to rescue Alice. Is that correct? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Now, before we jump to conclusion, we're gonna play our little game first. Whether you like it or not, you need to play this little game in order to find Alice. Allow me to share some light on the subject. what I call a dramatic exit. Now, let's begin our game. You see that house over there? I want you to knock on it in a specific order. Now, go to the house so I can give you your hints. The first hint is pretty simple. How many movies are there in a trilogy? This word sounds identical to a number. It's the exact opposite of blues. And finally, how many houses are there in Hogwarts? Very good, very good. You have solved the first puzzle. Now, I may warn you, 
As our game continues, the puzzles get harder and harder. And on the last puzzle, there'll be no hints, no help. You'll be on your own. Now, to send you to the next puzzle. Now, for this next puzzle, all I want you to do is to solve that riddle. What riddle? On that sheet of paper that so happens to be attached to that totem pole, of course. I recommend doing it quick. Who knows? You could get the feeling that you're being watched. Hmm, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Hmm, not sure if I heard this riddle before. It sounds unusual in my books. Strange. Okay, I speak without a mouth? How can someone speak without a mouth in her thoughts? No, I have no body come to life within. Weird, though I heard something. Wait, I know, an echo. <laughs> bravo, bravo, give the man a prize. Now, on to the next puzzle. Looks like a long way down. Hey! 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 Ah! Ah! Mother Smurfer. Unfortunately, our dragon friend had to leave early for personal reasons, so I will take over for him. You may notice a dragon hovering over you go through the correct door. That the dragon is hovering over who knows what will happen if you go to the wrong door. Just saying. I see you found your way in the mushroom forest. A perfect way to start the next puzzle. You see that mushroom over there? That would be one of your items that you have to collect for the puzzle. Whoa, whoa, hold your horses there. 
You need to answer some questions first in order to get your items. Question one. A mushroom is a type of fungi or a plant? A mushroom is a type of fungi. <coughs> Very good. Continue to your left to get more items. Now, this one item can only be found inside of the sleeping tapper. Question 2. What do horses tappers and rhinos have in common? What do horses tappers and rhinos... Oh, they're all related. Standing. Now continue. There are two more left to fetch. Now this one's a bit tricky. You must complete this puzzle in order to get the item. There are some things that cannot be seen with the naked eye. So do the others run or be in the bright sky? Huh. Oh, my forensic scanner. Feels like I'm being watched. <gasps> Google Translate. What? What do you mean? What can you do when you have a battle with it? Well, aren't you a scary fella? Do you want to fight? Sure, why not? I hate to do this, but you can leave me no choice! And let me guess. I have to retrieve an item. Thought so. Sheesh! Didn't know their teeth could reach that far up their skull. Not bad. Now off to the final item. a lot of damage! I saw this boat in half! It even works underwater!
Hello, what is this? Voice mimic box. This box can mimic every voice of every person and animal. Help me, please. If you can hear this, he's going to... <laughs> no, no, that's not how gravity and chili works. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He sent me on this wild goose chase to rescue Alice. But that was all from a voice mimic box. Should have known. Are you serious? My pocket watch is two days slow. This is gonna make me late for the very important date. <laughs> Just like the rabbit. What's his deal? Always late. Well, it's not his fault. He should have set his alarms. Well, I get it. It was the 1860s. There was no such thing as an alarms. But I got some advice for him. Why not I take this pocket watch and shove it up his... I will take that from you. Thank you very much, sir. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Now let the final puzzle begin! What in tarnation? I remember that the last puzzle was for me to solve on my own, but how do I... Wait a minute. They're missing some texture. And the one not missing any texture is the real hatter. Ow! Oof! Could have gone better. <laughs> what? No! I had you, don't you see? You're mad! You're mad! You are exactly just like me! I will never be like you. First of all, there was no kidnapped Alice, and if that wasn't enough, I was able to sneak up on your little dragon friend and euthanize him. And I know dang well of how to settle this problem. <laughs> Oh, so that's how are you going to settle this problem? Putting me in the asylum. Well, then again, mad can also mean crazy rather than mad angry. I see what you did there, and I thought I was the guy with the fun and games. Yeah, well, I was able to outsmart you and your pesky friends, you foolish hat man. Wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. There was no kidnapped Alice. It was all from a prank? Yes, Lumiere. He played a huge trick on me the entire time. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go back home to rest from all this puzzle-solving Alice in Wonderland baloney. Right behind you, sir. If that bozo thinks that he can deal with almost everything that stands in his path, why so callous? I have failed, but soon the others will try to stop him, put an end to him. And when that happens, he will become my Ellis. Nezuko! Nezuko! 